I'm going to play solitaire for a Japanese style mahjong, also known as a reach. If you don't know how to play this version yet, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. This style is a bit complex, but it's a lot of fun to play. It's still quite flexible, yet sophisticated. If you're just learning how to play Reach, or if you already know how to play and want to improve your game, if you're an intermediate player like myself, consider subscribing and then click that bell so you don't miss anything. Let's play Solitaire for Japanese style Mahjong, also known as Reach. I have all my tiles out. They're back here. I have a Hanchen indicator here. So we're just going to say that it is East Round. I also have some Tenbo for each player, just in case somebody decides to declare reach. And I have a marker so that I can make sure that I don't get mixed up on whose turn it is. So I am going to gather 14 random tiles for the dealer and then 13 for each of the other players. Okay, everybody has their tiles. So let's see what we can plan out for each of these players here. Oh, each of the players have their tiles now. Let's create the con wall or the dead wall. So it needs to be seven wide, two high. Let's go ahead and flip Dora. So we have a seven BAM as the door indicator. So that would mean that eight BAM is Dora. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this way over here to the side and I will move everything over so you can see that con wall. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, here we go. Let's check out what East has. So not uh, eight BAM is Dora, they have Dora. So let's build around that. They have a pair of nine BAMs and they do have two other pair. I'm thinking we should play toy toy which is all pung, all pung, all three of a kind for East. They need to pair up two more times for them to get ready, but they have a pair here, pair here, pair here. So we could maybe get them to all pung, all three of a kind. That's a Yaku and two Han. Let's see what South has. South has a pair of South. That's their seat wind. That is a Yaku for them. That could get them to a potential win without too much trouble. Let's see what they have though, as far as other opportunities. Really, they do have Chi potential. If we just play their seat wind for their Yaku, we could do that and do all cheese because they're set for three cheese right there. Maybe we could even do, maybe we could even do a concealed hand and reach so that we can get some additional score. So let's see what we can do for West. West has some honors here. They're not paired up though, so that's not good at the moment. They have a few dots, including a pair of nine dots. 
they do have a pair of four cracks they do have chi potential here five six pair a little chi potential there maybe we should have them play either all pwn or pinfu and get rid of those honors unless they pair up right away we'll see okay let's see what north has oh north has a pair of green dragons that's kind of nice let's see what else they can do okay so they do have a pair of two cracks that's their only other pair so i guess we'll just have to play it out and see what we can do they do have chi potential with these dots here and chi potential with the rest of these tiles and that pone of potential pone of green dragon so let's see how this goes let's start with east they're going to try for all pone if it is east round they have west and south let's go ahead and just get rid of those let's keep the red because that might give them a potential score if they can pair it up let's go ahead and, and get rid of it doesn't really matter at this point because it's east round let's just throw the west so we'll throw their discards on the bottom right and we'll draw for south they got an eight bam so at this point they're south that's their yaku we're trying for a pwn of, of south they have a lot of chi potential here let's get rid of the one bam for south they do have Dora here. If we can fit that in, that would be good. One bam. And nobody can take a one bam. So let's draw. I'm going to use this to help me keep track of whose turn it is. Let's draw for West. Two bam. So this is where we were thinking maybe of playing either uh, Pinfu or All Pwn. They only have two pair though. So they already have to decide what to do let's go ahead and get rid of the north for west and we'll draw for north because nobody can take that north they drew a seven dot that's a good chow tile for a potential pin foo or no, no no we're trying for a pone of green dragon but they have such a mixture i don't think there's any con any other stacking opportunity there let's go ahead and discard the five bam and then we'll draw for east nobody can take that five bam one dot so we're trying to get them to all pung or all pwn let's discard the four dot and draw for south nobody can take the four dot so we'll draw seven crack so now they have two three pair maybe they could play all all pwn let's see that'd be nice if we can pair up that eight let's throw the four bam and then we can draw for west if they're playing pinfu you'd think well why not chi the five six pinfu is concealed so we can't take that if that's what they're playing we're going to draw they drew a one dot if we're going to play pinfu we need to get rid of these honors let's throw the white dragon and draw for north nobody can take that white five crack that's a good keeper for them okay now this eight even though it's dora they have nothing to do for that so we're going to discard the eight bam and we'll draw for east five crack 
Okay, now they have a four, five, six, including Akadora, the red five. That is a special tile. If they can win, they'll get an extra Han for that. I'm kind of thinking we should hold on to that. Let's get rid of the South. And it is South's turn. We're going to have them pwn that. So we'll put up a pwn tile. And if South has it, we're going to indicate that discard like this to show that East threw it. And we'll discard. So we have potential pawns. Let's go ahead and get rid of the East for South. And we'll draw for West. They got an eight crack, which is a good tile for a potential chi there. So they're in between. Now that that South is out, let's discard the South for West and we'll draw for North. Ooh, they got another Akadora. See that red five? That's not going to be helpful though, because they have no other tiles around that five. So we're going to discard the five, bam and nobody can take it. So we're gonna draw for East. They got a six crack. Oh, that's nice because here's a pair. They now have four pair. They could play all pwn. Let's get rid of, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and get rid of the one dot for them and draw for South. Red. Let's go ahead and throw the red. It's not doing anything for them. It's a single tile. So all these are ready to chi. I suppose this three crack can go really this eight bam, unless we pair it up. That's probably a discard. So let's draw now for West. They drew an eight bam, which is Dora. Let's see if we can use that for them. Let's get rid of the east and draw four north. White dragon, it's already been thrown. Let's discard that and draw four east. Three bam, three bam. That's not a good tile. Now a red dragon was thrown. Let's go ahead and discard that red and draw four south. Nine crack. Let's get rid of the three crack for them and draw for West. Nine dot. Okay, so there's a pair. Well, really, there's a, a pone, but we're trying to get them to a pinfu. So this is a potential chi. Let's get rid of the one dot. All these others are potential chi's and they do have a pair here too. So they may not be able to use all of those. Let's go ahead and discard the one dot for west and we'll draw for north. One crack. Oh, look at all those cracks. Here's a pear, pear, chi, pear. So we're going to go ahead and discard this two dot for north and draw for east. Five bam. Let's see here. So we are trying for all pwn, I believe, here. So there is chi potential in there, though. But I think all pwn, if we can get there. Let's see. If we did go for cheese, we have too many pair. We'd have to break up all, the, all these pairs. Let's go ahead and try for all pwn, which is also called toy toy. Toy toy. So let's go ahead and discard the four crack. If we actually, let's keep the four crack because we maybe could play a pure double T. 
I don't know, let's get rid of the three BAM instead. Let's see what happens. If we get rid of that three BAM, let's draw for what, uh, south, two dot, discard. And we'll draw for west. Ooh, 3 BM, nice, maybe. Let's see here. We were gonna try to have them play Pinfu. Let's see if we can use that Dora tile. Maybe throw the 5 BAM. Here's a pair, potential Chi, potential Chi. There's a pair. This is a potential Chi. That's a two-sided weight. We've gotta have a two-sided weight as well. So let's um, let's go ahead and discard. Let's discard the nine dot. We don't need a pwn. And that would that was a middleweight. This is another that's another middleweight. We don't need another middleweight. Okay, let's let's draw four north. Five dot and Akadora, red five. We'll keep that. So let's see here. They have a potential pure double chi here. There's a one, two, three. And if we can get that three crack, there's a one, two, three also. So let's go ahead and let's see. We have a seven, eight, four, five. Maybe we should go ahead and get rid of the green dragon and go for Pinfu. Let's do it. Green dragon down here, drawing for east. Three crack. Okay, so now we're kind of at a decision point here again. Here's a three, four, five, a pair of sixes, three, seven, nine. Potential Chi here, five, six, there's Dora, that eight. Really, we want them to play all pwn. Let's just get rid of the three crack. And now we can draw four south. They drew a north, that's a discard. Drawing four west. Seven crack, that's a keeper right there. Seven crack, they have a six, seven, eight now. So they have a one, two, three, five, six, two sided weight. Here's an eight bam, pair of fours. Let's get rid of the, um, let's see here. Maybe we should just hold on to the nine dot as the pair. This is a two-sided weight. You gotta have a two-sided weight for Pinfu. If we hold that four, this could be a potential Chi, potential Chi. Here's the four again. Let's get rid of the seven dot for west. And then we can draw four north. Eight dot, let's go ahead and get rid of the green dragon again. Okay, so they have a three, four, five, one, two. That's where, this is where that potential pure double chi might help. I don't know. There's a lot of sharing of the same tiles there. Okay, we'll have to wait and see what happens. So we threw a green dragon. Let's draw for east. They drew an east. They're trying for all pawn, so that single east is not going to help. Let's draw for south. Four bam, that is not a good keeper for them. We'll discard a four bam and draw for west. Green dragon, that's been thrown now twice, so we'll draw four north. Six dot, okay, let's see how this looks. Here's a four, five, six. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, one, two, three. They need a pair. Four, five, pure double chi potential there. There's a lot of uh, chi potential in there. How many eight dots are out? None. There are no eight dots out. 
four cracks, no four cracks, no five cracks. There are a couple three cracks out. Okay, so let's see. We need a two-sided weight and a pair yet. This could be a two-sided weight and this could be their pair. Let's go ahead and break up this potential chi situation there and go try for pinfu and pure double chi two-sided weight there. Here's their pair. Let's go ahead and get rid of the seven dot and we can draw for east. East though can pwn that seven dot. So we'll take that seven dot from north. It will be displayed like that. So we'll put out a pwn for east. Okay, so we have two more here. Let's hold on to that Dora, maybe. Akadora might come in handy too. So let's go ahead and get rid of the five bam. There's already two out. And then we'll draw for south. Here's a two crack. That's not helpful. That doesn't fill any gaps for them. So we'll throw a two crack and draw for west. There's an eight dot. That's not a keeper for west. We'll discard that and draw for north. They're playing a concealed hand, all cheese, which are all three in a sequence. They drew a one crack. Let's get rid of the six dot. So they have a pair of ones, a one, two. Yeah, they have this one might need to still go. Okay, so we'll see what happens there. Let's draw for east. They drew a west. We'll discard that and draw for south. They drew a nine dot, uh, nine bam, sorry, nine bam. So we'll, let's look at that. Here's a way for them to maybe use south. They have a south already. We were trying to do all pwn for them. They have a pwn of south. They don't have enough pairs, but at least they could maybe use this Dora tile to get another Han instead of just going for only one Yaku, with, which just is one Han. This Dora tile will give them another Han. Let's see here, five, six, seven, seven. I was thinking if they pair up though, they could maybe do all pwn. Let's go ahead and throw the nine crack and then we'll draw four west. Okay, they got a three bam. So let's see, we have a pair of nines, one, two, three, three, five, six, eight. So these are both potential cheese. There's a pair of fours or break that up and there's a potential chi. We have too many potentials. One, two, see we have one here. We need one, two, three, four. So they have one too many. One too many, there's a chi. So if we just lay it out like this, there's one, there's one chi. We still need a two-sided weight. Here's a, that's a middle weight. This is a middle weight also. We need a two-sided weight. So I think what we should do is have a four, five, six, and then this seven, eight, that's a two-sided weight right there. So if we get rid of the four crack, we still have a pair that we definitely need. There's only one nine crack out and there are no six cracks out. So I think we should get rid of the four crack. And we can draw four north. Okay, they got a nine crack, which is not helpful. It's way out there. So let's get rid of the nine crack for them. And that is not a keeper for anybody. So we're gonna draw for east. They drew a north, that is a discard. 
drawing four south. Six dot, that's a keeper. So we have four south. They have a pawn of south. Here's a pair of seven, an eight, nine, eight, nine, four, five, six, five, six, seven. Let's see here. We still need a two. Oh, no, no, no. We need to just win for them because they have their seat wind. That's their Yaku. So we could discard the seven crack and be ready on a seven bam. Let's do that. Let's discard seven crack. So they need a seven bam to win. And then we'll draw for west. Four dot. That's a discard. And we'll draw four north. Six bam. That's not helpful for anybody. Six bam. We're going to draw four east. Four bam. Okay, now they have, we're trying to get them to all pwn. They have three pair here. We'll throw the six bam. It was just thrown, nobody wanted it. So we'll draw four south. Two crack, that's a discard. Discarding for south, and we'll draw for west. West drew a west, that's a discard. There's already a couple out. And we'll draw for north. Oh, they got a seven crack. That's nice, that's a potential chi there. So here's a chi, four, five, six. There's their pair, I've gotta have a pair. Here's a potential chi. How many three cracks are out? There's one. I'm looking at discard piles because we can't consider what's in the hand. We gotta pretend like we don't know. So there's one three crack out. So they're still viable here with their pure double chi. One, two, three in each suit. So let's get rid of the one crack. They could even reach maybe. Let's see here. Yeah, we have, let's see, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven more picks left. So we threw a one crack, it's now east pick. They drew a nine dot, that's a discard. We'll put that up there and draw for south. This player up here, they're playing for pinfu, so they don't wanna pwn that. That's their pair. Oh, they just got sumo. Seven bam. South one. So we have a pair of sevens. Seven, eight, nine. Four, five, six. Five, six, seven. And they have a pwn of their seat wind. So that's their yaku, which is a han. And they have dora. Because... Here's the Dora indicator that 8 bam is Dora. So they have two Han. They would have to count mini points um, from the food table, but we won't go that far. So South won. This player was, they just needed to pwn. This player was had too many potential cheese. They needed to fill in a couple more cheese. This player was one tile away from being ready, and they were hoping for Pinfu and Pure Double Chi. If you would do something different for any of those hands, write it in the comments section. I still have a lot to learn about Japanese style Mahjong. There's a lot of um, pretty sophisticated strategies. I'm still learning. There's so much to learn with this particular style, which is one reason why I love it so much. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and then click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn new strategies and also pick up on some insights into the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Japanese-style mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.